A picture can say a thousand words, but it's the story that these words tell that's truly important. Today, our Im Yun Hee has a photo exhibition which, uh, with pictures that tell the story of Korea's capital city, Seoul. Good afternoon, Yun Hee. Good afternoon. So nowadays, there are so many pictures all around us, whether they be selfies, maybe pictures going viral. And until then, many pi people take pictures to capture memories. But if you look at these pictures, you can also learn about your past. Now, that's exactly what this festival does. The Seoul Photo Festival has has gathered thousands of different photos from over the years, and now they aim to tell the story of Seoul's unique history. So, take a look. It's hard to imagine, as cars whiz by in a city that over 10 million call home, a different landscape. There are hundreds of offices, museums and structures crowded here in the capital. But decades ago, most of these buildings weren't here. And the ones that were well, they've withstood the test of time and now represent the rich history within the city. These are the pictures of our capital. They're the pictures of our Seoul. Photography first entered Korea in the beginning of the 1880s, and since then we've been able to document pictures of Seoul. This year marks the 620th year since Seoul has been considered the capital and for over 500 years during the Joseon dynasty, there wasn't much change to the circular structure. But after foreign influences entered, everything from the shape of the city to the style of architecture changed. And it was these foreign influences that drove the direction of Seoul for the next 50 years. During the Joseon dynasty, Seoul was actually called Hanseong. But with the trickling in of Western culture, buildings began to show a much different style. And when Japan invaded, Hanseong became Gyeongseong, and the streets really began to reflect physical changes. Although foreign influence crept in even more and more, there was still a strong presence of a traditional Korea, and the struggle between the two was evident throughout the city. It wasn't until the sudden destruction of the Korean War a war that almost wiped the slate clean, that Gyeongseong became Seoul, and the capital of Korea saw an explosion of transformation. After the Korean War, the need for reconstruction was immediate, so everything happened quickly, and that's how the modern Seoul began. Things like the Namsan cable car and the 6-3 building were raised as a result of the industrial development that gripped the city, leading to economic growth and ultimately the development of Korea. Along the way, sacrifices were made in order to reveal some of Seoul's most beautiful